Here's the list. Attitude diseases. Number one is indifference. The shrug of the shoulder. The guy's not even concerned. He's just drifting. This is called the mild approach to life. Disease known as mildness. The guy says, well, I can't see getting all that worked up. Well, to be any kind of winner, you got to get worked up. There's one problem with drift. You cannot drift to the top of the mountain. And the good Lord said in the closing chapters of the Bible, here's the best way to live, one way or the other. That's best. Hot or what's next best? Cold is next best to hot. Not the half-baked middle, lukewarm, not too hot, not too cold. What a sad way to live. I think what it means is pick a direction and go with everything you got. Just pick one and go. Somebody says, yeah, but what if it's the wrong direction? You'll find out quicker. <laughs> it won't take you 25 years to wake up and say, oh, no, I've been walking the wrong road. I told my staff the other day, next best to prosperity is adversity. If one doesn't get you, pray for the other. We all do better from one of two reasons, inspiration or desperation. And I don't wish anything bad on you tonight, but if you're not inspired, I hope a wagon comes down your rut. Whatever it takes to get you to try harder, read more, set your goals, and go for it. Somebody asked me one time, what quality would I pick if I wanted to work with somebody? And you know what I picked first, number one? Strong feeling. Please, number one, give me somebody that feels strong. About most anything, I don't even care. Just so they believe it even if they disagree with me. Wonderful, just so they disagree vigorously. I'm not saying it's easy to win those kind of people to your point of view, but I'd rather do that than to try to resurrect people from the dead. Pump them up every month, pump them up, pump them up. I pass. <laughs>